Okay, let's take a look at micro channel drain. This is a replacement channel drain from uh, NDS. Let's start by looking at the top. It comes with a tape on top to keep it nice and clean. This is just a, a scrap piece. Um, the slots are a little different than coming across, most of them come across this way, but this actually picks up more water and it has a small channel at the top. And you, if you notice, that it's rectangular. Some of the older products, they have a, the same size opening at the top, comes down here and it's got a, an inch and a half round, could be offset to the side, could be centered. Lots of different channel drains, but they all work exactly the same. What happens is number one, where the line comes out to the end of the pool patio, the lanai, they usually end it right there. And of course, there's no place for the water to go. Number two is that it fills up with sand um, every place. It doesn't matter where you're at. And there's a coupling that goes inside of here. Um, that's normal. You know, there's a seat of coupling to hold it together. It's not watertight, but that coupling has little lips around the inside of it. Water gets or sand gets stuck against those couplings and begins to build up. You've got to maintain that channel drain. If you don't, then you end up with problems. And the channel drain that we were working on here, I'm gonna go back there and show you again. It when they installed it, it's quite low in the center of their lanai, which is crazy, but that's you know what happens. It's quite low there, and water has has to fill up before it can flow. And once any sand gets in there at all, they only have this much, <laughs> they only have that much room for any water. That's the drain size is now, what, one inch by three quarters of an inch, just not nearly enough. Normally channel drain, even though it's this size, will pick up tons of water. Um, it can keep up with torrential rainfalls, but you've got to maintain the system. So if you look at this channel drain, it, we've now got it you know, wide open, it's very nice and clean. But right there in the center, you can see that, quite low. You can see they actually made the concrete drop down into it yeah, as well because it's so low. And here at the end of the pool deck, as it comes around, this is quite low. And then it turns and it runs back uphill as it comes over to the sump basin where we've got the discharge. So again, there's always some water down in the bottom of this. It only has maybe maybe two inches of, of actual drainage and it's got to be maintained or there will be problems. This entire channel drain, the whole patio, actually slopes that direction all the way down. And what needs to be done here is it needs to be cut out and replaced. But you know, you're know, you looking at four grand somewhere around there to do so, a lot of money. and. If you can maintain your system, you know, where we've cleaned it for three, four hundred, um, save some money. Now granted, it did take us about two hours to clean this channel drain. It took a long time. If you do it yourself, you can save all that money, but more than that, you can maintain your system and avoid having to cut this out and replace it. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.